There was a thunderous sound coming from right in front of this building on South Carolina State's campus today as I was headed to my afternoon class at Clapham University. So I picked up a camera and decided to catch it all in action. But the real problem in Orangeburg, South Carolina today, was all their labor in vain or was it all worthwhile? The protest was about two things. Everybody keeps saying the, to keep Dr. Warwick. It was about two things. The first thing was to ask our Board of Trustees to sincerely and publicly affirm us as the first priority of this university. The second thing, of course, was to make a recommendation to our search committee and the Board of Trustees to place our current president, interim president, Dr. Cynthia Warwick, as the permanent president of the university. When you feel as if when you spend $150,000 over four years uh, making an investment into the university because any big business understand that when someone make that type of investment, they're a primary stakeholder. When you begin to uh, make decisions without notifying your investments, those, those who make investments in your company, that's a problem. Um, and we're just trying to expose the priorities of our Board of Trustees uh, right now. Uh, it does not appear, especially from a student's perspective, which really is the only perspective that matters, is the fact that we don't feel as if the Board of Trustees deem students as a priorities. Um, that shows, like I said before, the lack of priority. Number two, it shows the lack of sustainability and stability. And number three, it shows the lack of consistency. It, when any, anytime anything is inconsistent, uh, it doesn't work and it shows division and dysfunction and that's what we're trying to get the board to understand and to get them to stop operating in dysfunction um, and, and to bring consistency to our university. Okay.